Today in History. Okay, now it's time for our daily journey to the past. And we have a quiz question. We do, and I'll borrow your paper as I threw mine away. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Uh, UNESCO works for the conservations of, mm. number one, world heritage sites, or number two, world interest rates. Okay, the question once again. UNESCO works for the conservations of, number one, world heritage sites, or number two, world interest rates. So if you know the answer, you can put it on our Bundy board or text in on your cell phone, pounder sharp 1045 for 50 or 101, depending on the length of your message. And the prize this time is a designer's note. Okay, so let's go and check out what interesting events happened on this day in the past. Today in History In 1946, UNESCO was formed. 1946년 11월 4일 유네스코가 설립된 날이로군요. Okay, we revisit a moment in history in which one of the world's most renowned organizations was formed on this day way back in 1946. Right, and that was the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization or better known as UNESCO. Mm -hmm. It is headquartered in Paris, and UNESCO was formed as a specialized branch of the United Nations that aimed at contributing to world peace and international collaborations through the fields of education, science, and culture. Mm. And currently, it is comprised of 195 member states in addition to nine associate members. That is right. Among the many projects fostered by UNESCO is the preservation of the world's tangible and intangible assets Assets, a mission that was made literal in 1960 through the Nubia campaign. Oh, okay. This 20-year-long involved, uh, this campaign actually involved the relocation of some 22 monuments in order to save them in a, a irreparable damage, such as flooding, save them from irreparable damage, of course. such as flooding. Now, the project in turn led to the adoption in 1972 of the Convention Concerning the Protection of the World Cultural and Natural Heritage followed by the establishment of the World Heritage Committee in 1976 and the inscription of the first 12 sites on the World Heritage List. That happened in 1978. Uh, well, these sites included the uh, Galapagos Island in Ecuador, Nahani National Park in Canada, and Yellowstone National Park in the U.S. Hmm. Mm. And you know what? And the first Korean site to make the list was Bruguksa Temple and Sokuram Grotto in 1995. Fascinating. Now, Korea has 11 sites in total designated as World Heritage Sites, with the global number reaching 981. And among these many parks, buildings, temples, and fortresses, the fossil hominid sites in Sturkfontein, South Africa, are arguably the most significant in terms of universal value. Oh, Sturkfontein이라고 우리에겐 좀 알려져 있는 이 Sturkfontein 유적의 화석 남아프리카 well, the fossil evidence contained within these sites, some dating back 4.5 million years ago, uh, as well as the earliest proof of the domestication of fire, renders the uh, African continent as the undisputed cradle of humankind. Isn't that something? Oh, wow. 인류의 어떤 발상지다라고 할때 아프리카 대륙을 꼽을 수밖에 없는 이유가 되겠습니다. Okay, so that's what happened on this day in the past, the establishment of UNESCO. And before we wrap up, here's a quiz question once again. UNESCO works for the conservations of the answer number one world heritage sites. 네. Okay, that's going to do it for today in history. We will be back tomorrow with more from the past.